Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again. And thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm gonna be making some double decker peanut butter fudge. And this is the fudge that I always tell you guys that it tastes like a Reese cup when you're done. And it honest to goodness does. And this is my aunt's favorite fudge. And I think she would kick me out of the family if I did not make this fudge. <laughs> she loves it. So uh, this is a pretty intense recipe. So I'm just warning you guys up front, this isn't an easy peasy little quick recipe. This is something that you need to take some time and read the instructions and probably read them again and then wrap your brain around what you have to do and then read them again and then <laughs> go for it. I'm not even kidding you. I've been standing here for 10 minutes straight going, okay, let me refresh my memory and I've made this for probably 10 years running now. So, and I make it every year. I only made it, I did not make it one year because I was really sick at Christmas time and I thought my aunt was, you said you didn't make my fudge. And I was like, I'm sorry, I was so sick. So I will never not make it or I'll have somebody else make it <laughs> if I can't. So anyway, first of all, I just wanted to show you how I've got my ingredients kind of sitting out all over the place and I'm not gonna go through each and every ingredient. I will as we go through the recipe here. And you can find the recipe, I will put it down in the description of this uh, video so that you guys can be sure to see it. First thing we're gonna work on though are these two bowls. I'm gonna put my camera down. Uh, this is, by the way, I'm recording this on the Saturday before Christmas Eve, which Christmas Eve will be Tuesday. So you can make this well ahead of time. I do store this in the refrigerator just because it's a very soft fudge and I do store it in the refrigerator. So just to let you know about that. All right, let me put my camera down here and we're gonna get started with our first couple of steps here. Okay, you can see I have two kind of medium sized bowls out here. And the first thing I wanna do this is the secret ingredient to this fudge. This is Reese's peanut butter chips. And I would, we found these at Walmart. I didn't, I couldn't find them at Walmart for many years, but now I did find these at Walmart. And sometimes some grocery stores carry them, but I've only found them in our giant grocery store. Like I don't find them in our Weiss or, or Wise, however you pronounce that, or Food Lion or... Uh, you know any of the others but anyway that's the secret ingredient Reese's peanut butter chips okay so the first thing I want to do is separate these this bag of chips it says line of third oh that's the first thing I did wait a minute let me back up here for just a second first thing I did was I lined a 13 by 9 inch pan with aluminum foil and then I took butter and I smeared butter on it. And that will help the, the peanut butter, help the fudge not to stick to the bottom of the pan. And we'll get back to that. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is line a 13 by nine inch pan with aluminum foil place, and then now place one cup of peanut butter chips in medium bowl and then set it aside. Okay, so here we go. One cup of peanut butter chips. There we go and set it aside, okay? And then, in the second medium bowl, stir together cocoa, melted butter, and vanilla. Now I need to cut, a, you need a whole stick of butter in the whole recipe, so but a quarter of it goes in this bowl. So you need to cut this in half and I need to melt this butter. I'm gonna throw this bowl in the microwave for just 30 seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, here's my melted butter. So to the melted butter, I need to add our cocoa, and you need a half of a cup of cocoa. That's pretty sad that I only, only own one half of a cup. I don't know what happened to the others. You know, things like that walk away sometimes. Anyway, I'm gonna fill my half a cup up here. Half a cup of cocoa. In effect, you're, you're preparing your layers. Half a cup of cocoa. Okay. And then 
then I need a teaspoon of vanilla. I use this. this I got this at our local um, Amish store that we have here in town. A teaspoon. One teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, now we need to stir that up. Somebody asked me in my other fudge recipe if this was a pep pampered chef uh, spatula, and it is. I have several of these. Okay, so we just gotta mix this up, and I'm just gonna leave this little spatula in here because you'll see we'll need to use this again later. And what we're doing is we're preparing uh, the two layers of the fudge. This will, of course, obviously be the top layer one layer and then this other will be the peanut butter layer now we just need to pour these on top and let them start to melt both layers have peanut butter taste in them okay now we're going to move over here to my big pot here on my stove and what i need to do is get my recipe <laughs> In heavy four quart saucepan, stir together sugar, marshmallow cream, evaporated milk, and a quarter cup of butter. So we need to put this other quarter cup of butter in. You need to do it over about medium to medium high heat to get it started. Okay, quarter cup of butter. And Marshmallow, now I use jet puffed marshmallow cream. That's what I use from Kraft, right? This whole container. And then I use a 12 fluid ounce can of evaporated milk. I use carnation evaporated milk. And then I need, what did it say? Four and a half cups of sugar. So let's go ahead with that. Four and a half cups, help me count. One, two, three, four, and does it matter if it'll have a little cocoa in it? That's all right. A half. Four and a half cups. The whole can of evaporated milk. And the whole jar of marshmallow cream. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine all this together. Let's see if I can get this open. Now I'm gonna get my thicker pampered chef. This is a sturdier pampered chef spatula. I'm gonna put this whole thing of marshmallow in. Okay, that does it, that's the whole thing. And I'm gonna stir and mix this up until it's all combined and then it's gonna to come to a boil. And then I need it to boil for, I think it's five minutes. till the mixture comes to a rolling boil. This is what takes so long, boil, boil and stir five minutes. Time this, remove from heat. And then what we'll do is we'll add half of the mixture once this has being combined and boils for five minutes. We'll add half of this mixture to one of those bowls and half to the other. Stir them up until everything is combined and then we'll pour one layer in the pan and then the other layer in the pan. So that's where I need Chris's help. He'll come out and you'll just see his hands of course, but he'll help me at that point when I need to stir. So I'm gonna put you in a time lapse and I'll be back when I'm ready to, when this comes to a boil and you'll see me kind of walk away and I'll come back and forth to this as it's boiling and coming to a boil. 
and then I pretty much stand and stir for the five minutes that it's boiling. So I'll be back. poured it half in each, a little bit more than half in the peanut butter side. So I want the peanut butter, plain peanut butter side to be a little bit. <laughs> the hand is helping. I need help today to be a little bit thicker than the chocolate, you know, layer. So that's why we put a little bit more in the peanut, just the plain peanut butter side. Now we're just going to mix this until it's all combined. I will pour my plain peanut butter in the pan first, and then Chris will top with his chocolate layer. And then I put it in the refrigerator, y'all, to, to cool. Because for some reason, this is just really soft fudge. I don't know whether it's because of the humidity in our area or what, it may work different for y'all, I don't know, but I always have to put it in the refrigerator. So then after we're done this, we we'll come back several hours from now and I'll cut it up for you and show you how I, how I cut this fudge. So I'm almost ready to dump. Where's the morsels? They're in there. Half of them are in there, half of them are in here. Each layer, both layers have peanut butter. Doesn't really thicken up too much while it's in the bowl, so don't expect that to happen. It does a little bit. As you can see, it's pulling away from the bowl there a little bit. But it doesn't, it's not like my other fudge that like hardens in the pan practically, you know. Okay, I'm about ready to dump. The thing about this is this bowl, these bowls get really hot, and but these are the best bowls to use. I just spread it out and it is starting to, to thicken up already okay Okay, now as you can see, it's really hard to cover the whole layer, but this is where a little finesse comes in. Just cover, you know, just push the chocolate. It doesn't have to be perfect and all the way to the edges, but as close as you can get to the edges. After a little while to cut it. Hey everyone, I'm back and my fudge is out of the refrigerator and I made two more batches of fudge. So I'm fixing to finish up this video by cutting up the chocolate and peanut butter Reese cup or double decker fudge, however you want to put it. 
and I'm gonna get it packaged up and then I'll say goodbye here and then I've got to finish up cutting two more cutting up two more batches of fudge <laughs> for the family everybody loves this fudge and I want to make sure I have enough so I've been a fudge making crazy lady today let me tell you <laughs> anyway let's move over here and we're gonna get started cutting up this fudge. Now, let me show you how it is in the pan. And you can see I have doilies sitting everywhere. I've got these paper doilies. And this is the first little tin I wanna fill up for my aunt. And the rest will be for the family. So I'm just gonna lift it right up out of here like this and you see I kind of pulled it to the side there. I want to kind of eyeball a square here, which is right about there. I want to try to cut my fudge into even little blocks, like I do the, uh, the fudge that's in the nine by nine pans. Okay, so I'm just gonna start cutting this, this piece of fudge. I don't wanna take this away. I just wanna start cutting this piece from here over to the edge. And I'm gonna do it just as I did. My peanut butter fudge the other day, the other peanut butter fudge. There we go. And I'm gonna go between those two those two and then between each one again these are going to be little pieces well they're all little pieces just like that turn it and I'm going to cut up to that center right there and then I will cut this one by itself and see if I can make it into a square or more square pieces. one thing you guys so. there's more than one there okay I just put a little doily between each. on the top, put the lid on it, and that will be my ants. It will go right in the refrigerator. Okay, now, the rest of this, I don't think I'm going to need, I have bought, I brought out a really big tin, but I'm not going to need that big. Let me get another one. Hang on. Okay, okay. Let's see. 
And we have three of those. Let me open this up. They're a little large, aren't they? And we'll just smush them down in there. I've had these, like, I buy them every year. You can get them from, you know, I got mine at and that this year. You can order them off of Amazon, too. I've ordered them off of Amazon before. Here we go. We're just going to smush it down in there. It'll be fine. Now, I'm just going to speed through because this will be tedious for you guys to watch for sure. Okie dokie, you guys. That is gonna do it. Get one more cover piece here. And fold it in. I don't need it to be hanging out the sides. There we go. How am I going to know the difference? It's going to be smaller. But what I sometimes do is I'll put a sticky note on to say chocolate, peanut butter fudge, something like that. But I'll know that this is going to be in the refrigerator. So let me put it in the refrigerator. And now let's do a little taste test. I have the one piece that's cut kind of wonky. <laughs> so I'm going to try this one. Are we ready? Oh my goodness. This is so sweet and so good, you guys. This is my treat for the day for sure for all the cooking I've been doing. Oh my goodness. All right, let's taste. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. It is so good. So sweet. Really, really sweet, but so satisfying and so good. Mmm. It is definitely worth the effort. You know, I'm gonna go over here and sit down for a second. I tweaked my back a little bit. Shh, don't tell anybody. And I'm just tall enough at these counters where it kind of bothers me if I'm standing too long and I've been standing a lot and, and stirring a bunch of fudge and stuff today. <laughs> So it's tweaking me right now, but I'll be fine. It's not that, it's not like a branch to back. It's just, you know, kind of, hey there, Arlen, sit down. So I'm sitting, I'm listening and sitting. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up these two uh, batches of fudge and put them in, you know, one for my dad to take home with him and one for uh, my uncle, my aunt's husband to take home with him. And um, then the rest of the folks can pack it up, pack whatever's up whatever's left up into tins. I've got extra tins and stuff sitting here. If anybody wants to take any fudge or anything with them, any you know leftovers with them, I always make sure I have plenty of like uh, Rubbermaid containers or you know, you can buy them in bulk at, at BJ's, you know, just like the, you know, the Rubbermaid or whatever. I always have a drawer for the full of those, you guys, so that people can, you know, go around to the leftovers you know, pack up anything they want and take it home with them. So that's what I'll have ready to, for the extra fudge or whatever they want to take with them, ready to go for them, ready to go, you know, so they can pile up their food in those takeaway containers and just take it home and not worry about returning the container, you know. So that's another little tip. That's a little something I do just to, you know, to have on hand and just to say, here, take it. No, I don't want it back. You're fine. Take it, take whatever you want. Please take the food out of the house because <laughs> I don't want it in the house, you know? So, but anyway, that's it for this one, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little one. It is, you know, again, it is a more tedious fudge to make, 
but it's worth it. It's worth it if you take the time to do it. It tastes really, really good. And it really does taste like or better than a Reese cup. But anyway, I hope that everyone's getting ready for Christmas. We're getting closer and closer here. And then this is another Vlogmas, you know, series of mine. I think I might be able to bring you one more before Christmas Eve, I'm hoping anyway. Uh, I, I wanna show you how I get my tables situated anyway. And you know, I don't know how far I'll get. I'm gonna try you guys. But you know, again, I'm not sure how far I'll get. And if I can't get to you, I'm gonna say Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas to all of you right now. And I hope that you are able to spend time with those you love and who love you. No matter who that is, whether that's friends or family or just acquaintances. And don't forget to tell them that you love them whenever you separate from them again. You never know what could happen. So when you separate and say your last Merry Christmases and, and say you throw an I love you in there too. You know? So, but anyway... Uh, I also have uh, my, my mother-in-law, we went to visit them yesterday and I have, she sent me home some dolls that I want to show you uh, that we had given her through the years and that she wanted me to have back for my collection. And also she sent me one of my bunnies, you know, that I used to make. I made her one years and years ago and bless her heart, she still had it. So I brought that home so I could show you guys. So I will definitely show you, that'll be a video for after Christmas. You know, we've got too much going on. I've got too much going on to, to, to do something like that. But you know, I have so much to do to get ready. I've cleaned some today, but we still have cleaning and vacuuming and whatnot to do. So <sighs> lots of stuff to do. Uh, still one more gift to buy, if you can believe it. <laughs> You know, so, but anyway, let me just say that I hope that all is well with everyone. And I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering, especially at this time of year, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. With all that said, I'll just say, have yourself a merry little Christmas, and I'll see you soon. Hopefully one more before Christmas, but if not, merry, merry Christmas. Love y'all. Bye-bye.